Airbus A320 Mentor Channel Podcast. Episode, Unreliable Airspeed, When the Numbers Lie. Welcome back to the A320 Mentor Channel, your go-to destination for mastering the technical and human side of Airbus flying. Today, we're diving into a critical topic that every pilot must understand deeply. Unreliable airspeed indications, what they are, how they develop, what the aircraft systems do to help, and what your immediate response should be. Let's jump into the flight deck. Introduction, when speed lies. The Airbus A320 is known for its robust automation and smart systems. But even this aircraft isn't immune to a phenomenon that has triggered real-world incidents. Unreliable airspeed indications. Unreliable airspeed situations can appear suddenly. And when they do, your primary flying instruments, the PFD, altitude, and trend vectors, may start contradicting each other. That's where training, aircraft knowledge, and CRM come into play. The core of the issue, ADRs and data integrity. Let's start by understanding the role of the Air Data Reference Units, or ADRs. These units feed critical information like airspeed and altitude to our displays. Now here's the thing, most failures are detected by the ADRs. When that happens, you'll see ECOM alerts like Nav air speed status changed. Nav all speed uncertain. These alerts help you identify which data sources are valid and which ones you should discard. The speed monitoring function is your guardian here. It compares sources and tells the aircraft systems which inputs to trust. But what happens when the ADRs fail to detect that their data is wrong? That's when we enter the gray zone of erroneous yet undetected values. This is more dangerous because the aircraft may continue to operate on invalid inputs, unless you, the pilot, intervene with experience and situational awareness. The real culprit, PTO and static probe obstructions. In most cases, unreliable speed and altitude data result from blocked PTO or static ports. Depending on how the probe is obstructed, whether it's partially or fully blocked, the resulting errors differ. And here's something Airbus wants you to remember. It's highly unlikely that all three probes fail identically at the same time. This is why the A320 uses a voting logic to compare the data from each ADR. Let's look at the main scenarios. Failure scenarios and aircraft response. 1. One ADR is faulty, two are good. The system automatically rejects the bad ADR. You get nav air speed status changed. Auto land is downgraded to CAT 3 single. Aircraft remains in normal law. 2. Two ADRs faulty, with different errors, one correct. Autopilot and auto thrust disconnect. Aircraft switches to alternate law, no high, low speed protection. System recommends a change of speed source. 3. Two ADRs faulty in the same way, one good. The speed monitoring function uses comparison logic to still reject the bad inputs. You're advised to select backup speed or switch ADR sources. 4. All three ADRs are wrong in the same way. Often from extreme events, volcanic ash, icing, foreign objects. The system can detect the pattern and will reject all three ADRs. The ECM displays nev all speed uncertain. Crew must select digital bus, the direct bus backup speed source. This is when you refer to the QRH. Unreliable Speed Indication Procedure And here's a reminder, stall warning remains active even if speeds are lost, thanks to the aircraft's use of angle of attack sensors. Consequences Beyond the Numbers Unreliable airspeed can also affect Flight Path Vector and Vertical Speed Autopilot's Ability to Maintain Level Flight Transponder Accuracy Possibly Transmitting Wrong Altitude this is why you should always notify ATC in case of suspected erroneous air data. High altitude pito blockage, a unique threat. At high altitudes, usually above flight level 250, some obstructions may be temporary, often from ice crystals or water contamination. In many cases, the problem clears up in a few minutes. That's why Airbus recommends delaying significant configuration changes unless you're absolutely certain of the situation. How to Respond, The Flight Crew's Playbook Recognize the signs, watch for erratic airspeeds, contradicting PFDs, and abnormal behavior of the autopilot, 
Flight Director, or ECOM Alerts. Cross check with standby instruments. Fly pitch, thrust using the QRH table. Use the unreliable speed indication procedure when necessary. Communicate with ATC. Give them a heads up about possible incorrect altitudes or positions. Training for the unexpected. The truth is, these failures are rare, but they do happen. And when they do, they escalate fast. Training in the simulator should include Erroneous but undetected ADRs Discrepancies between captain and first officer PFDs Sudden loss of speed data at high altitude This isn't just a technical exercise, it's a CRM challenge. How you share tasks, how you verify what's valid, and how you make collective decisions will determine the outcome. Closing thoughts, know the system, trust your training. The A320 has built-in protections, comparisons, and redundancy. But no system can replace a pilot's situational awareness and discipline under pressure. This is why understanding the why behind the warnings, not just what to do, is crucial. So the next time you brief your sim session or line flight, ask yourself, how would I detect an unreliable airspeed early? Do I remember the steps to pitch slash thrust flying? Can I explain how the system protects itself? If the answer is yes, you're exactly the kind of pilot we want in the A320 community. If you found this episode valuable, give us a like, subscribe, and don't forget, you can join the A320 Mentor channel for just 0.99 USD per month to get exclusive simulator briefings, QRH tutorials, and deeper system breakdowns like this one. Click the join button and become part of the growing global community of A320 professionals who train smart, fly sharp, and never stop learning. Until next time, fly smart, stay safe, and keep learning.